guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna be doing a hairstyle that I did on TikTok, but we're gonna be doing the elongated version. So today we're gonna be doing the Khloe Kardashian textured waves, but we're gonna be doing it the way I do it. I don't know how she does it, but I know this way it works and I really like it, you guys really like it, and let's get to it. Okay, so right now, as you can see, my hair is kind of not really doing anything. This is maybe um, one day old, two day old hair. I do that on purpose because this hairstyle works better when your hair is on the dirty side. So yeah, it's like straight here, wavy here. It was air dried and I just didn't do my makeup or any content for the last two days. So I just didn't wash it so I can make this video. And excuse my roots because it's supposed to be going into a balayage, but I don't think that's working out. Anyway, the only thing I use for this is my GHD straightener, which I love. It is queen, honestly. I love this so much. Uh, a little bit expensive, but I use it every day. I use it for all of my hairstyles, so I'll just be using after that maybe a little bit of hairspray and mostly texturizing spray. This is really it to create this hairstyle. So the first thing you're gonna do, just keep your hair however it is. If, it, if you have really, really curly hair, um, maybe straighten it out a little bit. But if your hair is just kind of like mine, where it's just kind of like flat, wavy, it just kind of does what it wants, uh, just keep it as is, because that's kind of the whole point of this tutorial. It's more so this like textured, like kind of wavy look. So there's no perfect way to start. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take this top part of your hair right up here. So this, you're gonna be doing another kind of um, technique to and then this top part you're gonna be doing a different technique so the top part is gonna get waves and the bottom part is gonna get curls people always ask me how do you not get those like creases and I do but just go a little bit lighter on your hair um, I don't spray my hair with anything before I start and so I just take the flat iron and I go up hold for a little bit see there's a crease and then I go down then swivel again, swivel again, and swivel one last time. You wanna make sure the edges are more on the straighter side. You don't want it like the end to be curled out. So just kind of know where you're at as you're going. But see, there is this little crease here that I don't want. So when this happens, I'll just take a little piece of it. You're not gonna take all of it. So you can get higher to the root where the crease is. Okay, so we kind of got it out. There, there, You could definitely see some more here, but when you add in all of like the texturizing spray and you like fluff it out, you can't really tell. If you can, just try that technique again. And then go again. And then go backwards underneath. And then again this way. And then again this way. And I'm getting close to the bottom, so I need to I'm gonna go this way one more time and then kind of bring it down straight. I definitely could see these creases, but like what, when I rough it out like that, you're not gonna be able to tell. Okay, so that's the top part. I mean, I could finish here, this looks cute. Um, but we're, we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it a bit further. We're gonna lift this then up, flip it over here. So then you're gonna take this bottom half and you're gonna do a curl. So go away from your face and go a little bit lighter so you don't create creases. Um, I usually don't have a problem with my curls. And there you, there you have it. Nice little ringlet. They don't need to be perfect either. It's just kind of so you get like a different wave. Hence the texture. you have now your ringlets and your waves and then you're just going to take the, the bottom last layer and depending on how thick your hair is you might have a lot more than me but this is all I have so this is all we're gonna work with and we're gonna do waves again so go down go back the other way back the other way and straight harder to do the bottom ones because they're so short. Okay, and then we're just gonna 
let just chill for a sec. I'm gonna add a little bit of texturizing spray. Just so it's chilling on the hair. It doesn't get too flat. Hairspray, I find it ruins my curls. I don't know why, it like makes it flat or something. And I've used multiple hairsprays. There's just something about it that, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So when I want to keep a good curl, I don't use hairspray. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, now we're gonna go underneath to the second layer of your hair and we're gonna do the curls. Ooh, bouncy one. I'm surprised every time it like lags like that, it doesn't leave a crease, but it doesn't. Okay, and now we're gonna go underneath here and just wave these out. Okay. I'm doing a hair tutorial for YouTube. Oh, okay. Bye, honey. Bye, love you. Love you. I am going to add a little light layer of texturizing spray. Okay, I do want to admit, I lied a little bit. You can add more products. You don't have to, but you can, and a dry shampoo works really well to get that texture as well as the texturizing spray. So I'm gonna do it. Most of us have dry shampoo because it's dry shampoo. It's like the holy grail. So I am gonna add some dry shampoo. This bedhead by Tiji. So I'm gonna add it all up in here. And because my hair is dirty, it, that's how it works so well to get that like lift. So. This smells so good. Okay, then after that, we're gonna add the texturizing spray and I'm gonna use Bumble and Bumbles. All right, so let's give it a go. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out. This is like a key point as well. My last technique that I like to do is do it upside down. And sometimes I'll spray some texturizer. Just hanging out. All right guys, and that is it. It's such a great hairstyle to do when you have dirty hair. Don't wanna put your hair up in a sleek bun. Sometimes I get tired of that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you see anything on my TikTok, Reels, Instagram, whatever, and I can make a longer version of that. Or if you just see a hairstyle you like, DM me, let me know. My DMs are always open and I try to answer everyone. I can't wait to see your textured waves. Tag me if you do it on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Um, and I would love to see it. So if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm so new at this and I'd love to keep making more videos and that kind of allows me to do so. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.